Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 12.2, 12.3, number 6. Right. So again, uh, we have a function f of x, and uh, we want to uh, examine the concavity of the function. All right. So let's do that. Uh, let's go to the, the paper. All right. Let's take the, we need the second derivative. So we take the first derivative. So f prime of x is equal to, right, derivative 20 e to the x is actually exactly the same thing, 20 e to the x. Right, derivative of negative e to the 2x is negative 2 e to the 2x. And take the another derivative, f double prime of x equal to 20 e to the x minus 4 e to the 2x. All right, so we want to uh, uh, factor out a bit. So it's going to be, let's see, 4 times e to the x is in common. So if you factor that out, e to the x and 20 divided by 4 is 5. And a negative sign, 4 is out, 1 of the e to the x out. So you have another e to the x. All right, set that equal to 0. All right, so this, these are never zero because e to the x is actually always positive, but we can make that equal to zero. So we want e to the x to be five, which means that uh, take the natural log of both sides. Uh, you can see that, uh, let's say natural log of e to the x is equal to natural log of five. All right, but the natural log of e to the x basically cancel out. So what you get is just x is equal to natural log of 5. All right, so we can do a number line just like before. Uh, so do a number line. All right, so we know that the second derivative is 0 when x is natural log of 5, All right? So we can try any number uh, smaller than uh, 5, so I'll try natural log of 5, so I'll probably try 0. All right, if you plug in 0, so that's always positive. If you put 0, 5 minus 1 is positive. So you have a positive sign here. After that, uh, natural log of 5, uh, so it's, uh, uh, let's say, let's try 3 or something like that. 3 would be bigger than natural log of 5. So 3, all right, plugging, uh, that's positive. Plugging 3 e is about 2.7 to the raised to the third power is bigger than 5, so it's going to be negative. All right. So we know that it's concave upward all the way up to uh, natural log of 5. After that, it's concave down. So let's go back to the problem and let's see if we can. Uh, all right. So we want the concave upward. All right. So concave upward. So we uh, it's a negative uh, infinity to uh, natural log of Five. All right. Let's see if it takes my answer. All right. That's the good. All right. And concave downward. So it's starting from uh, ln natural log of five. Then goes to positive infinity. All right. I'll check my answer. All right. Got that. All right, then you know that the inflection points, and we just have to specify the x, but there's only one x. You can see that uh, here. Concavity changes from pos I mean, the concave up to concave down. So therefore, we know that uh, there is an uh, inflection point at uh, x equals uh, natural log of 5. 
All right, so let's go back uh, here. LN05. And check. All right, that's it. I hope that, that this was clear.